Hi, welcome back. My name is Rekha. In today's session, we're going to look at how do we understand memory uses in HANA system. It could be on-premise as well as cloud. But the process is very similar in both sites. There are a couple of ways we can do this. Let's take a look at how do we check the memory uses in the system. I'm accessing HANA Express Edition. This is on-premise version uh, for HANA Access A system. If you're working on the previous versions, you can access HANA Studio or Eclipse to go and check the memory usage. So currently I'm having Access Advanced and, so, and also I got HANA Cockpit installed so I can use this uh, cockpit uh, to access the memory usage category place. So once I'm in HANA Cockpit, I, uh, I access memory usage group here and I can see used memory and resident memory tabs. So what is more important for me is the used memory tab. So once I click on used memory tab, I can see uh, the blue icon which shows the used memory as 5.5 uh, GB, which is 24% of the total uh, available uh, space. And there is a space in the disk uses also, we can see uh, the total uses is 53. Uh, this is the space in the disk. And what we see here is the memory uh, usage. Okay, if I go back to use memory and I can see it's, it's 5.5, do I really consume 5 GB of memory uh, by storing data in the in HANA system? No, it's not, it's not really true. Uh, how HANA system is going to uh, allocate or use memory is going to be shown is, uh, let's say you got 3 GB of um, data which is stored in either row tables or column tables together. And then um, as a standard practice, system is going to keep another 3 GB of memory for uh, processing uh, of the models and also query performance and query uh, runtime execution and etc. So in the total of 6 GB or 5.5 GB, it is half amount of um, memory is used really for the tables and the rest of the memory is uh, as a working memory, you can call it as, which is going to be used when you are executing something in the system as in the um, uh, runtime. Uh, this is the first way to do uh, memory usage and it's very easy and very convenient and we can easily understand how much memory is used. If you want to look at more uh, detailed analysis of how memory is being used, we can always run some SQL statements in the database and get the full report um, in, in detail. Let's go to the second method of using SQL statements and run the report for getting the detailed report. So for that purpose, I'm going to access DB Explorer, Database Explorer. As I said, if you're using previous versions of HANA, you can um, use HANA Studio or Eclipse to, to access SQL Console. Um, and if you're using HANA, Access Advanced or HANA as a service or HANA Cloud, you always can go to DB Explorer and get the SQL console and run your SQL um, to get your result output there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to access my web IDE for HANA and then from there I can access DB Explorer. So this is my DB Explorer. I already added my um, database to DB Explorer. And I'm going to invoke a SQL console. Um, there are um, predefined SQL reports given by SAP to get the statistics. So I'm going to access an SAP node. Um, this SAP node um, provides all the SQL statement collections in SAP and there are going to be a bunch of SQL statements available inside as an attachment in this node. So I'm going to attach this node as in this um, recording of the session so you can have this reference as well. So I'm going to go to the the bottom of this node and I can see um, the attachments uh, listed um, for downloading. So these are the zip files. I can download the SQL statements zip file on my uh, desktop. I can open that um, uh, zip file. I can see all the SQL statements um, separated here. So what I needed, what I'm interested from these from the from these SQL statements are just these two, HANA disk data overview and HANA memory overview. I'm just going to open these uh, two and then run, grab the SQL from this um, notepad 
uh, SQL files. Just going to copy everything and then put that in my uh, DB Explorer SQL console. So I'm in DB Explorer. I'm going to invoke my I already invoked a SQL console. I'm going to just paste this one and just run this. It's going to give me the results. This is uh, at the disk usage report what I got from the SQL um, uh, from the notepad. And then I'm also going to run the other SQL, which is going to for used for the disk, oh, sorry, memory usage. So I'm going to invoke another SQL console and I will go to memory usage um, SQL and then just, just exactly copy everything and then paste it here. I'm going to run this one as well. So I'm going to get another report here. Let's take a look at the memory uses first and then we'll go back to the disk uses after. So you can see that the first uh, report output is license memory limit. This is what I got licensed for 32 GB. And then I also have uh, physical memory available as 26 um, GB. And also you can see the HANA instance memory use. This is what uh, what I see in the HANA cockpit just previous um, in the previous wave just we shown. So 6 GB is the total memory used. Uh, I also wanted to show the breakdown of um, total memory used. I can access the previous report, which is uh, for the uh, disk usage. You can see that the column table size is uh, 0 0.65 GB and the row table size is 0 0.18. Totally, it is around 1.66. And by all the other uh, shared uh, space together, it is, it is not more than 2 GB um, used uh, physically in memory, which means it's around uh, 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 total of 2 GB space used for the tables. And then another 2 GB of space is used as a working memory for, um, for report execution and SQL query execution and et cetera. So that's what we, couldn't, we, we were seeing at the HANA memory usage in here, which is going to be 6 GB um, as the total memory used. So if I go back to the previous uh, screen for the HANA cockpit, you also see the same thing. Used memory is um, is around 5.5 GB. Uh, so it's a half for the physical storage of uh, column and row tables, and the rest of half memory is used for as a working memory uh, to perform the runtime executions of SQL query uh, or any other operations. And that's how you can interpret the HANA memory used um, by running these two SQL statements, or you can call SQL reports. If you still have uh, any questions in understanding uh, the database and the memory usage, you can always reach out to administrators in your team and they will be able to help you. But this is going to be a good start to understand the basics of a memory usage in HANA system. It could be on-premise as well as cloud. I hope it is helpful. Uh, thank you very much uh, for this session. For the detailed training on HANA Cloud or HANA on-premise, please reach out to surumpalias at gmail.com. Thank you.